السلام علیکم ڈیئر کڈس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ سورت الملک وچ از دا فرسٹ سورا آف ٹوینٹی نائنتھ جز اینڈ ریگارڈنگ دا امپورٹنس آف دس سورا آور پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم انفارم ڈز دیٹ دس از دا سورا دیٹ پروٹیکٹس اے پرسن فرام دا پنشمنٹ آف دا گریو لائک ایف اے پرسن ٹرائز ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دا میننگ آف دا سورا اینڈ ریسائٹس اٹ ریگولرلی بفور گوئنگ ٹو بیڈ and also tries to act upon it, then this is the surah that will protect him from all the fear and the punishment in the grave. And this surah will also help him gain forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgiveness of all his sins. So now we have understood the importance of this surah. Let's start the ayah number one. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تبارک الذي بيده الملك وهو على كل شيء قدير بلسد از هي ان هوز هاند از دا دومينيون اند هي از اوور اول ثينكس كومپيتنت تبارک الذي بلسد از هي تبارک كمز فروم بركه اند بركه مينز بلسنگ سو تبارک مينز سورس اوف اول دا بلسنگز هو از دا سورس اوف اول دا بلسنگز Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what does baraka actually mean? If we go into the detail of it, then it includes three meanings. First is, when a blessing is given to you, then we say that you are given baraka. Second meaning is, that when the blessing which is being given to you, it is increased in quantity as well as quality. Like now it is beneficial for you. It is a source of happiness and peace for you. And the third meaning is that the blessing is being protected as well. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects and nourishes the blessing that is being given to you. So these are the three meanings of baraka. Let's just understand the meaning of baraka through an example. For example, if a person is given a lot of money, but he uses that money in disobedience of Allah Ta'ala. He doesn't fulfill his own needs through it, or he doesn't give it to needy people, and he commits a lot of sins by using the, that money in the wrong ways, ways. Then we don't say that this person is given baraka in his money. When do we say that this person has baraka in his money? When he uses that money to earn reward from Allah Ta'ala, when he uses it in the right way and he doesn't commit sins by using it in any way which doesn't please Allah Ta'ala, then we say that the person is given baraka in his money. So baraka doesn't just include quantity, but it also means quality that even if something is very less in amount but that something that some blessing is very beneficial and a source of happiness and peace and reward for you and we can have baraka in all the blessings allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us for example our risk the food we eat the clothes we wear And every single blessing that is given to us, we can have baraka in that. And what are the ways to attain baraka in that? When we try to please Allah Ta'ala, the ways are that when we pray to Allah Ta'ala, when we offer our salah in time, when we fast, when we recite Quran, when we do things that are pleasing to Allah Ta'ala that are rewardable. Then Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala gives us baraka in those blessings. Also baraka means that a blessing is not just beneficial for you in this world, but it is also beneficial for you in the hereafter. So who should we ask for baraka in our lives? Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala alone. Because look at the next part of the ayah. Allah says, بِيَدِهِلْ mulk. In His hand is the dominion. In His hand is the kingship. 
the ownership al mulk means the dominion the kingship the ownership and it is the kingship over all the things like he has uh, the power over all the things his kingdom includes this world and also everything that is in the next world it includes all the skies the mountains uh, this earth sun moon every single creation human beings animals all the things all the creation are included in this one word al mulk and biyadihi al mulk which means that he has means the dominion the kingship the ownership and it is the kingship over all the things like he has uh, the power over all the things his kingdom includes this world and also everything that is in the next world it includes all the skies the mountains uh, this earth sun moon every single creation human beings animals all the things all the creation are included in this one word al mulk and biyadihi al mulk which means that he has the authority over his mulk which means that allah subhanahu wa taala is the only one who is the creator and who can bring any change in his creation so he is the only one we should seek help from and allah says wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer he is over all things competent like he is capable of doing everything even if a person benefits you in some way it is because allah gave him the ability to benefit you so all the happiness and all the comfort and blessings come from allah taala alone so we should only seek help from him we should only depend on him we should make dua to him only and we should follow all his commands and we should love him the most because he is the one who will who is able to help us and and there is nothing that is not under his control so i am also going to do whatever he tells me to do so that was all about ayah number 1 inshallah we will study ayah number 2 in the next lecture jazakumullahu khairan kaseera وتقدست اسماؤه تعالى واكون